Alrighty, welcome to another 4-on-4 four four draft. We've got myself, Charles Wong, Strider, and J-Bro. J-Bro on the go-go, battling against D-Stern, Tom Martell, Fiorbina, and Luis Salvato. I'm passing to Salvato. Fiorbina, four legs, is passing to me. Anton, he's quite good. This pack, however, is not. There's a Mox Diamond and a Pest Infestation. I'll probably just take the Mox Diamond. They're both pretty close, but this is colorless. It works in a lot of different decks. Pest Infestation is one, I mean, I think green's a fine color, but I'd rather just start with a Mox Diamond. I assume it, that Salvato's taking Pest Infestation because he likes green a fair amount to begin with, and uh, Pest Infestation is the best card there. Here we've got Vamp, which I'm not the most in love with. It's fine. There's Wasteland, which is always a solid pickup. I'm not big into just slamming Goryeo's Vengeance out of nowhere. Guy's Cradle and Titania are kind of interesting. I, if I'd taken Pest Infestation, I guess I would lean towards Guy's Cradle. But honestly, I think I'll just take Wasteland in either case. Let's just see where this goes. Neither of these cards is very committal. Haven't seen anything super powerful. So no real reason to jump the gun here. Hmm. Well, getting a third pick Underman Adventure, that gives us a, uh, a, a kind of direction. And it's not too bad because Salvato probably took Pest Infestation and then I get to cut green. So I'm fine with that. Plus... Uh, Mox Diamond works really well with Undermount Adventure, so happy to take that. Passing a Duress, a Bank Buster, and a Jace as kind of like the relevant cards. So, yeah, this looks this looks solid to me. Also, Undermount Adventure is quite splashable, and Mox Diamond helps splash it, so I could easily be blue-black splashing Undermountain or something along those lines. Obviously, I am going to look for things like Birds and Noble Herrick to try to accelerate this out, because you, you win the game pretty easily if you do that. But we'll, we'll see what the packs bring us. And the next one brings us, well, it brings us an Asika's Chariot. There is also from the Catacombs, which is quite strong with Underman Adventure, but I think I'd rather just take Chariot. Chariot's a really good aggressive card. Accelerating it out can be very strong. And I think it's one of the best cards in this pack, though. From the Catacombs, also very strong, but I think this is a Chariot pick. Oh, and here, there is a Breeding Pool. I don't for sure know I'm going to be blue-green. I don't even have any blue cards. But Breeding Pool is one of the better lands because blue-green needs the lands pretty badly. I'd rather take Breeding Pool as a blue card than take Thieving Skydiver or Subtlety. Baseju is good, but I don't think I want to take it quite this early. Oliphant's also decent, but in terms of fixing, I think I'd rather just take the Breeding Pool and kind of see what's up. Uh, Anton could easily be playing blue, in which case that'll be tougher, but... Oh, and here's Renin 6 and Ramanop in the same pack. But Renin 6, when I have Wasteland and Mox Diamond already, Renin 6 is a very strong card. The fact that it can ping 1-1s one is pretty big. So I think I'm going to take Renin 6 over Nyssa. I already have two expensive-ish cards. I'd rather not take a third. And I like Renin 6 a lot more than Ramanop. So pretty easy Renin 6 here over Adeline and Noise Marine, Firebolt. There's, there's some good cards in the pack for sure. Oh, and then here I think I'll just take Commercial District. It's a land to help for Renin 6 that you can fetch. It's also good with Renin 6, surveil cards into your graveyard, or pick this up if you manage to mill it somehow or discard it, like to Mox Diamond, say. And I think Commercial District, I think, is just a good card. The on-color surveil lands are pretty strong. Next up would probably be Fairy Mastermind, maybe Terra Sunder, but I'm, I'm a lot happier just taking Commercial District here. Hmm. Well, I don't really want Lush Portico, but Once Upon a Time is looking pretty nice. When you have good lands to find and good creatures to find, Once Upon a Time becomes pretty valuable. I really like it in like the Strip Mine type decks. I don't have the Strip Mine yet, but I have the Wasteland and a Renin Six, so perfectly poised for Strip Mine. I don't mind passing an Imperial Seal, and I think both green cards there are not that exciting. Oh, Utopia Sprawl with these fours is pretty good. I have two actual forests. I think I like it more than Generous Ent. The Generous Ent gets all these colors. I guess the acceleration is pretty, pretty good. Passing up a Nyssa. Green is definitely the place to be. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take the Sprawl here. I think that's what I want. And then Farseek or Shatter Skull Smashing. Interesting. So Farseek is nice because I can, again, ramp to those fours. Shatter Skull Smashing is nice because it's an, an, like an extra spell land. Not really a Dragon's Rage Channeler deck, though. I guess it's good with Renin Six. You surveil lands into your graveyard. I think I'd rather Farseek here. It is close. But I could also be Splashing Red, so I, I think this is reasonable. Oh, and then here, there's Elvish Spirit Guide, Scrapwork Mutt, Regrowth, Mind Collapse. These are all plausible. I kind of think this is an Elvish Spirit Guide deck. Turn 3, Undermountain, Turn 3, Chariot are both just really good. Or Turn 2 with the right uh, acceleration. 
and I don't really care about Mutt or Regrowth. And Mind Collapse also would be solid, but I like these. Oh, and then I would take Rabble. All right, yeah. Rabble Master is looking really good with Utopia Sprawl, Spirit Guide, Mox Diamond. Look, I, I like Uro and all that, but oh. And then here's a Copperline Gorge. I got to take it over Badlands, sadly. Oh, and then Nissa. Nissa's good with all those cards. Passing a last pick, Adeline to Salvato. He doesn't draft white that often. Maybe that'll prompt him too, but we're like red green beats now. I actually don't mind that archetype at all. Hoping to open like a Mana Crypt or something. That would be sick. Okay. Uh, this looks pretty good, though. I, I do now wish I took Shatter Skull Smashing over Farseek, given that I just took the Rabble Master, Copper Line Gorge, and kind of went a little deeper into red green. <laughs> I, all right. Well, the, look, the simulation is getting lazy. That's all I'm going to say. Well, we're slamming Mana Crypt for our turn one Rabble Masters and turn two Chariots. You know, I could turn one Undermountain with. Mana Crypt or Mox Diamond, or sorry, Mana Crypt plus Mox Diamond or Elder Spirit Guide. Best card for passing is a Snuff Out or a Troll, maybe a Palantir. Wow, this looks, this looks just fine and dandy to me. All right, so this is another tough pick because there's Oko and there's Noble Hierarch, and they're both very good. I think with Breeding Pool, Mox Diamond, and Utopia Sprawl, I think I could swing Oko, and Oko is so good in this kind of deck. Also, I have two zeros plus a Utopia Sprawl plus a Spirit Guide. I feel like I would love Noble. Obviously, I would take it very highly if I got another shot at that kind of thing. But I think it's Oko. And then I'm hoping one of Flame Slash, Chandra, or Olvenwald Oddity comes back. But I think this is an Oko pickup. And then follow it up with... Oh, I could just take Volcanic. Volcanic can help cast Oko in my red-green deck. Not quite there for Scion. Elves of Deep Shadow is a little sketch because I'm not likely to play black. And I'm passing Brain Freeze and Life and Death, but I don't care about those. Othari is good too, but I think I have my colors set. And then here, oh, Time Twister is actually kind of nice in this sort of deck. Um, but I'm not sure. It's so good with all this acceleration, but I kind of want beatdown cards. Do I want Season Pyromancer? Do I want Unholy Heat? I actually would play Standstill in this kind of deck, too. And then Elvish Mystic and Simeon Spirit Guide are good. I mean, maybe I'd just take Elvish Mystic. That could be more of what this deck's looking to do. But, oh man. When I have Mox Diamond, Mana Crypt, Utopia Sprawl, Elvish Spirit Guide, those are pretty good in, at Time Twistering. Yeah, let's go with the Time Twister. I feel like I can pick up comparable things. And look, now I can take Delighted Halfling. Delighted Halfling works really well with Oko, Chariot, Nyssa, and Renin 6. Plus, it's just like a acceleration spell even for the non-legends. Sentinel and Stomping Ground are both cards I'd be interested in wheeling. Also, Land Grant would be great. Land Grant can get blue with Breeding Pool or a tapped red with Commercial District, which is all pretty reasonable too. And then here, this pack is pretty bad. For me, I mean, there's Baleful Strix is good. Concealing Curtains is good. I could take Dryad Arbor in case I pick up Green Sun Zenith, though I'm not really that stoked about Dryad Arbor. Imidane's Recruiter is interesting. as a 3-mana, three 3-2 three, haste that gives your other creatures haste. and then, But if you, you really have to have white to play it. Maybe I just take Odawara because it's just randomly a good card. And I don't really feel confident hating anything here. All right, I'll take an Odawara. I, I might play that. Huh. And here's Ketria Triumph. Yeah, I'll take a Ketria Triumph. This guy deck can afford one more tap land. This would be the last one, probably. I like it a little more than Raging Ravine because I am playing all these blue cards, and I'm not to the point where I'm going to play a Tully. And then here, okay, Pick Your Poison is a really good sideboard card. Make someone sack an enchantment artifact or creature with flying. That's a new addition. There's also just Rampaging Raptor. I don't really think Sail into the West. Time Twister is a lot better than Sail. Name Sticker Goblin doesn't actually cast most of my things. I think I might just take the rat Rampaging Raptor. Arc Trail is also decent, but I have Renin 6 as a ping effect. Let's just go with the Rampaging Raptor here. Oh, Paradise Druid is perfect. A two drop that accelerates into these forest taps for three colors. Over Leovold, Leyline Binding, and Snuff Out are still there. And Tribal Flames. All right, I don't know what's going on, but... Well, I guess the domain stuff makes sense, but the Snuff Out being there doesn't really make sense to me. And Samwise is really good, so... I kind of feel like Salvato's drafting blue here. Hopefully not drafting white. The late Samwise makes it a little less likely he's drafting white and almost impossible to be drafting black with Snuff Out. Okay, Ovenlord Oddity came back. Very happy about that. Passing Temple Garden. GT is fine, but I'd rather just cast one of these four mana spells and just kill them. I'm not I'm not too worried about trying to get value with GT. So I have all teamer lands. Actually, my mana base is really tight. It's just 
straight up teamer, nothing splashing. So I don't think Scion works. I'll take Elves of Deep Shadow. I could also spec on Crucible in case I get Strip Mine. Do I want Elves of Deep Shadow? Uh, yeah, no, Elves still seems fine here. Oh, I will take Standstill. This actually looks like a Standstill deck, and I'll pass three white cards, whatever. Stomping Ground came back? That's such a gift. Look, Land Grant's fine and all, and so is Bone Horde, but st Stomping Ground in this deck, like, we're set up to be, like, kind of a perfect teamer beatdown deck. I'm, I'm loving it. I don't think I'm going to play Dryad Arbor, so I'm just going to hate the Concealing Curtains and, I guess, hate the Bazaar. All right, pack three. <laughs> the one time, <clears throat> the one time I didn't call for Time Walk, I opened it. All right, well, I'll take it. Did we open well this draft? Hmm. Hard to say. Well, how does this change? Well, on the one hand, I don't have any of the regrowth effects. On the other, this is a busted time walk deck because I have all cards that just attack every turn. So slamming time walk here, passing a Lutri. Not much else, really. Okay, Fire Covenant, I guess. So what did I take? Oh, it's Shatter Skull Smashing over Farseek. Eh, this actually ended up being fine. I mean, this deck is just gross. I, I really am missing nothing. Obviously, if I get like a strip mine to go with my Renin Six, I'll be happy. Uh, the one thing this deck actually is missing, no jokes, is I could use a couple removal spells. So like Lightning Bolt, Dismember, those would be really high picks right now. I kind of wish I ended up taking the Mind Collapse. That would have worked out nicely too, but I I'm loving this. Hmm. Atroxa, but we got past the late reanimate stuff, so I don't think Salvato can necessarily use it in that direction. There's other directions too. There's Skull Clamp here, but, and I have, I guess, Elves, Paradise Druid, <laughs> Rival Master can be good with it. But honestly, I'd rather just attack them. I think I'm just going to take Smuggler's Copter. There's also Hedge Maze and Taiga, and if we're really lucky, Taiga Wheel. I don't think I want Walking Ballista. Yeah, I'll just take Copter. I mean, that's, that's what this deck's trying to do. Still could use a removal spell. I would be really nice if I picked one of those up, but I mean, we're, we're basically set here. That's, that's the only thing we're really missing. So if I can get a little bit of interaction, I'll be happy. Also, my mana base is going to be great. So if I see like memory lapse or days or mana leak, those would be awesome pickups as well. Pff, what a beat. This, this pack is all garbage. Um, I guess I could just take Vendillion click. Like I don't think Salvato's playing black. I think he probably will use this Teferi, but I can't really play it. And there's other good white cards. Misdirection's a new addition. We'll see if that one sticks. There's also Raugrin Trium as like a red green or red blue land, but I just feel like my land mana base is really good. My land base. And I have two tap lands. I don't really want another one. I think my mana base can support Vendillion. There's also Seder Wayfinder for Renin Six, but I think that's excessive. And also this Renin Six is not looking good. I didn't pick any fetch lands. So. Let's just take Vendillion click and be kind of unhappy about it. Oh, there's Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I mean, this is a good wheel deck also. Had I taken Dryad Arbor, the Green Suns would be a little more interesting, but I, I'm, I'm happy enough with that pick. All right, I'll take that. Passing all these white cards back, but I think that's okay. Mm. Oh, I love Hex Drinker. I'll just take that. Hex Drinker is awesome. I am passing a, a, a Territorial Kavu that I don't think we ever got quite got to work. It didn't even take the Raugrin Trium. And I'm passing a Chaos Defiler, which is an amazing card, but Hex Drinker is just, is just great. So right now we're at 16 land plus Mana Crypt. So we're doing pretty good, but I guess this Renin Six doesn't look fantastic. Farseek is still probably fine. My Mana Base still looks pretty good, I think. And pick five. All I really want is like a Chain Lightning. The Flame Slash and Chandra didn't wheel, sadly. Hmm... There's not much else. There's like Chain Lightning, Dismember, Lightning Bolt, like any of the red burn spells or Braid, something like that, just, just so that if my opponent puts a card into play, I can deal with it. Oh man, this is tough, because there's Spell Seeker, which can go get Time Walk, but that's all it can get. <laughs> there's also Daze. This is looking like a really good Daze deck, but there's also Ignoble Hierarch and Carnosaur and Spire Bluff. I mean, there's just a lot of cards. I still might just take Ignoble Hierarch. That card is just so good. Let's just take that. Take a Birds now. I'm not going to pass that up. Pack 7 over uh, Inferno Titan Braze Apprentice, sure. And pick 8. Well, we didn't get a removal spell. I mean, I guess I could try to splash Bitter Triumph, but I'll take Tamiyo. Because now I could just be a great Time Walk deck, too. Cut Elves of Deep Shadow. It's a lot worse than these other ones. Like, a lot worse. And right now, this is still 16 lands plus Mana Crypt and all my Mana Dorks and Utopia Sprawl. Yeah, I'm, I, I think Farseek actually is probably not good enough. I think basically what I'm going to try to do is instead of interact, I'm just going to try to, oh, 
I could take Invasion of Tarkir. I was, one sec, though. I'll just play out my stuff and cast a bunch of time walks. I have a wheel, time twister, tamio. So do I want Endurance or Invasion here? I don't think I want Grim. Grim is Interaction, but I'd rather just take Invasion at that point. So it's two mana, deal two. I don't have any dragons, but it's a two mana deal two that then if I hit it with one of my four power things, flips it into like a pretty busted dragon. That or just take an Endurance. Um, I think I'll just take the Endurance. And then, oh, Ballista, there we go. Ballista is at least a way to interact. Passing a late Luminarch, I think I'm okay with that. And maybe I sideboard, oh, I could just take out Rampaging Raptor because I'll play, I'll basically play red for Rabble Master and not a whole lot else. Well, Wheel of Fortune, Rabble Master, and, and I just have all this red fixing kind of randomly. I could also play Ren and Six, maybe if I, if I play the Seder Wayfinder. So Ren and Six, what does it do? It gets back Wasteland, it gets back Odawara, it gets back the card I discarded to Mox Diamond, it gets back something I discarded to Smuggler's Copter. I don't think Salvato's playing white, so I think I'll just pass the three white cards there. Ren and Six can also get back, I thought there was like one more thing. Um, maybe that was it. I guess things I mill to Tamio, but that's a little thin. But it's also a, a ping for one. Maybe Ren and Six is fine. Or oh, if I mill with Seder Wayfinder. Hmm. I need to cut a card or two. But I really like where we're at here. Oh, this is nice. I'm not going to play the Territorial Kavu, but Ember Shield Shieldbreaker to kill artifacts is a nice pickup. I don't know that I'll main deck it because I, I like where my deck's at, but I definitely will uh, consider... I mean, I'll definitely side it in in the right <laughs> matchups. And then... Garrick with all this time walk stuff is actually really good. Oh, so is Hide in Plain Sight to consider. All right, well, this deck this deck looks awesome. Let's let's see how this looks. All right, taking a look at the deck here. Well, this is 12 lands as it's currently built, so probably should cut a few cards. Uh, I kind of do like the standstill. I mean, I kind of like Renin 6 just because Planeswalkers and time walk is nice. Maybe I do take Vendillion Click out. I think Rabble Master still seems good. I could take Hide and Plain Sight out. Garrick with Time Walk, Tamio, Nissa, those all seem good. I mean, Rabble Master Time Walk is also just sick. Uh, I guess I could take Wayfinder, Ren and Six out. And now we're talking 16 lands with Mana Crypt, Mox Diamond, and a bunch of Accelerants, but also a bunch of draw sevens. I could take out Elvish Spirit Guide as well. I actually wonder, is it better to take out Elvish Spirit Guide and just put in Seder Wayfinder? Cruise Copter. Hmm. We have Reanimator on our team, so I could take out Endurance. And I could put the Ren and Six back in. I just think I think Ren and Six is like borderline, but probably good enough here. And I'm really light on interaction anyway. Alright, yeah, this looks pretty great. I think this deck is going to do awesome. And nothing I'm super sad about not including. I mean, maybe even Dillion at the closest, but I have plenty of ways to crew Copter, I think, now that I have Wayfinder, Ballista, Paradise Druid, Delighted Halfling, Rabble Master, and then some of the big stuff. Yeah, plus Oko as well. All right, let's see what my team's up to and then uh, see how this does. All right, let's take a look at our team's decks. Charles has a Mox Emerald. A Misha's Workshop with Thranspider, Mystic Forge, Batterskull, Coveted Jewel. Got a free snuff out, the like 12 pick snuff out or whatever. Oh, Mana Vault 2 and a bunch of Mana Rocks. Yeah, I like this deck. This deck's solid. It's not like busted, but looks pretty solid. Jabro's got an Ancestral in his Esper mid range deck with like Thought Seize, Removal Spells, Jace from the Catacombs, Prismatic Ending. Pretty solid mana. Yeah, this deck's pretty good. And then Strider's deck is disgusting. It's. Blue Black Reanimator with Underground Sea, two Land Cyclers, Mox Jet, Grief, Reanimate, Animate Dead, Persist, Life Death, Flash, and then Archon, Emrakul, Triplicate Titan, Itali, Grave Titan, Frantic Search, Phantasmal Image, Corios Vengeance. It's just the Vince McMahon meme. So I'm feeling good about this. Let's bash Martel here. Mm, I'm going to keep this hand. Wish I was on the play, as usual, and go. If I get duress or something, that's unfortunate, but my team has a lot of that stuff. And I'm just going to go turn one, catch you at Triome. Turn two, I'm going to go Seder Wayfinder, hope to draw a green off it, and then play Paradise Druid. 
So I like that. Sir Ginger. <laughs> Seder Wayfinder is, gonna, Wayfinder is gonna dunk on that one pretty nicely. So if I drew a green, I would have cast Garrick, but this this should also work. Breeding Pool, Wasteland, Time Walk, Olvenwald Oddity. All right, I'll, I'll take Breeding Pool. Tom gets to see that I have Time Walk and tell his team and tilt off about it. And then I play a Paradise Druid and he's like, Mana Crypt Time Walk, yeah, of course. So then here, obviously I'll block Sir Ginger with Seder Wayfinder if that's what's up. Season Pyro, sure. Discard two lands. Okay. Mm. I mean, this is just going to be disgusting, right? Aren't I just going to Tamio here? Land. Tamio. Get back Time Walk. <laughs> uh, I love Time Walk. Take my turn. And lose the flip. Draw. So now... Why don't I, I could go Garrick, untap two lands. Yeah, and then cast Time Twister. And then if I draw a Time Walk off this, then I get to Time Walk. And if I don't, I get to Tamiyo plus one to look for Time Walk. Just one of the more disgusting draws I've ever seen in my life. And... It's against Tom Martell. You'll have to see it, honestly. All right, let's go plus one, name Time Walk. Mm -hmm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we, we missed. All right. And then mm, it's got haste, hexproof, and trample, the, the Sir Ginger does. So let's just go Ballista for one, I think. And Pass the turn. I just want to put a little bit more defenders into play. And, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to lose, end up losing Tamiyo here. But I'm, I'm okay with that. Though, I don't necessarily have to. Though, if this is like a bolt or something, of course, that, that'll, that'll start things out nicely for Tom. Basically, the time twister was like, I get to look at 11 cards out of uh, my deck. And if I hit time walk in those cards, then I win the game. If I didn't, well, I'm still in pretty good shape because next turn I'm going to have six, seven, eight, if the Garrick survives, ten mana to deploy all the cards in my hand. And Wheel of Fortune will hit Time Walk a lot of the time. Oh, we're both attacking Garrick. Um, I kind of want to get Sir Ginger off the board, but I guess it... Uh, hold on. Let's go... Block, block, and if Tom passes, I'm just going to accept this. I don't really need to to deal a, a, an extra one with the Walking Ballista, because if I did that and then he killed the Seder Wayfinder, I'd lose Garrick, so it feels pretty safe. Yeah, he's going to bolt Tamio. I knew he was going to kill Tamio. That seemed pretty hard to, to avoid. All right, he plays two one toughness creatures, and I have Dark Com or uh, Ren 6 at the ready. Let's draw... Let's see, let's just get some creatures. So I have four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 mana. Four, seven, I mean, I could just not pl play Time Walk this turn, or sorry, uh, Wheel of Fortune this turn. I think I won't. I think I'll just go Asika's Chariot. Play my basic forest. Play Rabble Master. And attack with my token. And then I'm gonna Ren and six, untap two lands, and then Ren and six the Grim Lava Mancer here. And let's see if that works out. Attack with the token. Tom's clearly going to take one. And then next turn I can wheel with all this stuff in play. And let's go Garrick, untap these two lands. Ren and six. And ping, ping, ping. Grim Lava Mancer. All right. That's all. Your turn. <laughs> uh, let's see what Bob reveals. A Dreadhorde Arcanist. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. And this deck's not really going to worry too much about decking, even with Wheel, because I feel like I've got lots of win conditions. So that seems totally fine. And my teammates are the ones with, like, all the bigger stuff. So, I mean, maybe I get, like, some sort of shallow graved here, but... 
I feel like the cards we've seen don't point towards that so much. Yeah, I would discard Mountain Chromatic Star. Next turn, I'm going to get to have a really big turn. And, uh... <laughs> I mean, at some point, at some point, I will find the time lock again, or not. I mean, if I don't find it, I think I'll still win pretty easily. Every turn, I'm, every turn, my turns are like three times as good as Tom, and I've taken an extra one. So, like, it's pretty tough to, <laughs> pretty tough to compete. This Seder Wayfinder worked out beautifully, by the way. I put a blocker into play, found a land, and milled a time walk for my Tamio to to come collect. I guess I technically that turn could have gone like Tamiya plus one and I would have hit Time Walk, but I'm not going to make that play not knowing whether I'll hit Time Walk or not. So being able to go Tamiya minus three and, and get Time Walk instead was huge. Also, the Ballista and the Ren and Six work really well against the kind of creatures Tom has. So overall, this is turning out nicely. Uh, unearth on the Grim Lava Mancer in the face of a Ren and Six. Oof, that's a tough way to go about it, Tom. That is a tough way to go about it. All right, let's hope I don't get burned out by my own mana crypt here. I lost the flip again. Once upon a time. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's fine. Let's just cast that. Hopefully I don't, I was gonna say, hopefully I don't see time walk, all right. So time walk's in the bottom four cards of my deck, but that doesn't, that's not too much of an issue. Ovenwald Oddity. Let's ping the Grim Lava Mancer. I think I'm gonna crew the chariot with the goblin tokens. So let's go make a goblin. Crew Seeker's chariot tapping. I don't really want to attack with rabble either. Crew with those. Tom has two cards in hand. I'm not gonna cast Wheel of Fortune here, I don't think. And I'll attack with these. I don't even think. It really makes sense to attack with a cat at this point. And if Tom wants to block down the uh, Ovenwald Oddity, then I will accept that. I mean, you kind of do have to block the Oddity because the Oddity is like going to flip next turn. And then that'll be it. But Tom also want, might want to keep Dark Confidant alive and just hope to like string together the perfect sequence of of plays, which is also why I'm not casting wheel. I know time walks on the bottom, so there's really no point in doing that. I'm going to side out Wasteland from what I've seen so far. And I guess with Garrick, I guess I'll just untap lands. It's like I have plenty of blockers, and then it, the Garrick ult is, is obviously very threatening here. So we'll see. And all right, we're just chumping there. That's fine. Untap my two lands. Play Copperline Gorge. Pass the turn. Lightning Bolt's already in the graveyard. Let's see what Bob reveals. Burst Lightning. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be a 50-50 now. That was a good draw. Yeah, Tom's going to bolt me down to five, attack, Dreadhorde me down to two, and if I lose the Wheel of Fort or the Mana Crypt flip, I actually am going to lose. I guess when you lose every Mana Crypt flip, that is what can happen. Tom can do seven damage to me right now with his spells. Let's see if I can win that 50-50, huh? I don't think I could have killed a turn sooner, given the, the circumstances. I could have cast Wheel, but I didn't, obviously I, that wouldn't have really helped too much because he would have drawn into the Burst Lightning instead. So I guess we'll we'll take the shot here. All right, in comes the Arcanist. Mm -hmm. Getting Bolt renoed. And I'm at six. And I'll block the Arcanist with these things. That it matters too much. All right. And now it's just, a, again, a straight-up 50-50 because Tom is forced to go for it because he's going to lose otherwise. And sure, he can play his mocks first in case I have, like, miscalculation. All right. I'm at two. Let's do it. And heads. Mm -hmm. Lost the flip. All right. That's game one. Okay. You know, the old, uh, I guess I lost three out of four flips there. Um, I don't want Wasteland. 
I suppose I would rather have another forest just in general. Do I want Emberth Shieldbreaker? Probably. It felt like he, I mean, he played Sir Ginger and Mox. So that seems reasonable. Standstill on the play looks like it could be okay, but he's got a lot of burn spells. Let's just take Standstill out. Endurance also could be decent because it's good against Arcanist. And it, like he attacks with Arcanist, I play Endurance. Gets the thing he's trying to put back and then block. That is pretty nice. I do think Wheel's still pretty good. I could take out Ravel Master against all the burn spells. All right. Yeah, this looks good to me. Let's get to game two here on the play this time. Mm-hmm. And all right. Well, I'll keep this hand. Here, I guess I would rather have Ravel Master over Endurance, but what I'm really hoping is that Tom doesn't... Uh, burn my bird on turn one. He's got a, at least burst lightning and lightning bolt, so pretty decent chance it goes down. Oh, okay. That is not a turn one burning of the birds. Island. Yeah, let's go time walk. And then go turn two Ovenwald Oddity, effectively. Mana Crypt would still be pretty nice here. Oh, Chariot. Yeah, Chariot's even better. Because Chariot gives me value over time instead of just being a 4-4. Four, four. So I basically played a turn 2 Chariot here, which is pretty nice. And then if I draw a land for Nyssa, that's obviously absurd. Oh, he's going for going for some stuff. Let's see. Even if I don't draw a land, I'm doing pretty good. But land, I mean, Nyssa's got to be just fantastic here. Nyssa. Plus on my forest. I could even pitch cast Endurance if I really need to, though obviously that's not necessarily going to be necessary. Necessarily going to be necessary, as they say. Uh, let's send for seven and make another Catoncito here. Tom just has to take seven, basically. And if I really want to... I can Endurance to stop a spell from being played to Arcanist here, but no. That was about a 30-second game. We take it. Okay. Oh, on the draw. Do I want Hide in Plain Sight? Maybe on the draw I don't want the Shield Breaker quite as much. Or maybe I don't want the Smuggler's Copter quite as much. Yeah, I'll, I'll try Hide in Plain Sight instead. That seems like it could be a little bit better. Definitely don't want Standstill on the draw. All right. Let's see. All right, very solid hand. Very, very solid. Only thing that'd make this hand better is a mana crypt. <laughs> Though a birds or utopia sprawl would also would also be pretty nice. Turn on bobble. Well, that's not a mox. And chromatic star. And that's not a grim lava mancer or anything. So that's not too bad. Mm. Tamio. Well, he knows that I've got. Uh, Tamio ready to go. Young Pyromancer. Oh, if I draw a red source here, oh, not quite. It's okay. We'll 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 still get our Renin Six value, because I get to go Paradise Druid into Renin Six plus Time Walk is going to be my plan here. And Paradise Druid having Hexproof here look pretty nice. Definitely not going to block. If I draw Mana Crypt next turn, we're going to have the most disgusting turn in the history of magic. But, uh, <laughs> well, maybe not that. But uh, we'll see. So what do I want Tom to do here? I don't really know. Play a Seasoned Pyromancer or something. I guess Seasoned Pyromancer is okay. I don't... Oh, interesting. Cracking the star. I'm just going to play something, presumably. Oh, Frexian Dragon Engine. Okay. Um, time walk. Ren and six. Mm, Nug the young pyromancer. Do like fire blast or something? Pyrokinesis. I mean, I guess pyrokinesis would be pretty good. Okay. Let's let's draw something sick here. Utopia Sprawl. That would have been sick earlier. Um, What am I going to do? Let's start with Commercial District. 
If I surveil a land into the graveyard, yeah, that's sick. Because then I can go red and six, get back the land. Utopia Sprawl here. I'll name blue, I guess. And I think I'm going to play Under Mountain Adventurer. Because the payoff there is pretty big. And I'll get another blue. All right, pass the turn. And so now, Tom, if he kills the Undermount Adventure, he gets to attack me and take the initiative. But it's just not that bad for me. Because I can Tamio take the attack with Paradise Druid, Tamio take the initiative back. If he has a way to kill Undermount Adventure and has a creature, okay, that that's a lot more annoying. If he has a Grim Lava Mancer here, it's going to be tough. But I also have the uh, Undermount or the Ovenwald Oddity. So I feel like I have a good shot. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, and I can also, I really need him not to have, okay, that's not a creature. That's fine. Oh, I drew Mana Crypt? Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Um, is it 14? I mean, I can Tamio back Time Walk and plus one Renin six. I wonder if it's better. No, I don't think Oddity is good. I think I'm going to start by Tamioing back Time Walk. Yeah, I think that's going to be the play. It's just really hard to get away from that. And so let's go Tamio. Get back Time Walk. Mana Crypt last turn would have just been completely game over, but that's all right. Let's just plus one it. I don't think I need to minus it. Take my extra turn. Draw. Oh, Odawara is actually really nice. So I think I should start by plus one-ing Tamiyo. And what am I going to name here? Hold on. Um... Chill out for one second. Oko, Time Twister, Nissa. Nissa sounds pretty good. Yeah, because I can mana crypt out Nissa and do everything else. All right, let's go Nissa. Uh, who shakes the world? Uh, Sika's chair at Head and Plain Sight. All right, cards that I wasn't, wasn't going to take anyway. I'm going to save the Odawara so he doesn't know it's coming. And I think... I think I do have to play the Mana Crypt, yeah. Mana Crypt, plus one forest. Forest. Or hold on. Let's go Olvenwald Oddity. I have Odawara up. I have a bunch of Planeswalkers. I'm at a pretty high life total and I can bounce the dragon engine when it attacks, and then I get to take the initiative back, and I'm just going to definitely go forge. Because I just want to go for the win next turn. I could have also gone attack, scry two with lost well, and then Tamio plus to like guarantee a, a hit, or at least obviously if I see two lands, I don't guarantee a hit. But I feel like because I have an Odawara, I'm already using all my mana here. I don't really need... To, to go to that those lengths. If I didn't have Odawara, I think that would have been the play. But uh, no, he's not going to get the hit in with the Dragon Engine. Ovenor already effectively attacks for 15 next turn because I can make it into a 10-10 if I flip it. And then if it hits, it also gets trapped, assuming he even takes the initiative back. Tamio protects me from discard and sacrifice. And then Renin 6... It gets back Odawara. That's actually like pretty reasonable. All right, Renin 6 has been awesome. So this looks pretty good. I can't wait to find out how I lose this one, but I don't think I'm going to. This looks pretty difficult for Tom to get out of. All right, in comes the Phyrexian Dragon Engine. I guess I'll let him decide what to attack. Of course, he attacks me. Odawara, you. I'm not even killing it. Can't even can't even bring it back for value, though. Obviously, if he taps out to bring it back, there's no way he can win that either. So currently, he's got a lot of stuff to, to deal with. Oh, okay. So we're going to start by killing 
Olvenwald oddity? You have to? Oh, yeah, that doesn't look like a winning play to me, but I mean, it's probably probably the best he's got. All right, I lost the flip. Trap. You go to five. Draw. So now I can get back time walk. That doesn't sound great. If I get back Olvenwald oddity, I'm one mana short of flipping it. Undermount Adventure gets me to, to the archives. Um, oh wait, this is Leaves Play. Hold on. Oh, I'm one short there too. I could I could get back Oddity and get back Odawara with Renin Six, and then Ren Odawara, the Chaos Defiler, attack Tom down to one. But then I'd have already used the Renin Six. Maybe I just cycle Ketria Trium and start there. Because then I, if I draw something good, then I can Tamiyo Time Walk and play something good. Like, any creature is really good here. Also, I mean, I'm going to want a Tamiyo Time Walk here. Oh, yeah. So, look, I can go return target card. I'll get Time Walk back. And then I'll plus one Ren and six and get back. I think Odawara is probably my best bet over Ketria Charm because I'm already going to draw extra cards. And here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Battle display the Chaos Defiler, and now Tom can kill my Renin Six, but the Chaos Defiler's gone. I had to tap my Sprawl for mana just so he doesn't take that, though obviously he wasn't really going to do that. And then... Time Walk... Plus play Embereth Shieldbreaker. And I guess I'll play my land too, why not? Alright, and then I... On my next turn, I get to draw off Archives. Let's hope I don't lose more mana crypt flips. All right, won the flip, nice. Draw, almost any spell gets me gets me there too. I said almost. <laughs> Birds, attack Tom down to three. And then now I have Odawara plus Throne of the Dead three. So, which is the last room of Undercity. So Tom has to now Find a way to deal damage to me with attacking while I've got a bounce spell in hand. Okay. That doesn't look like that is what this is going to be. I don't think I need to use Odawara here. I've got lots of mana. So I think I'll just chill. I'm not going to Odawara my, my mana crypt. I just hope to not lose more flips. All right, I go to eight. All right. It's Throne of the Dead 3 here. What do we got? Oh, this is 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. All right, I'll put a Walking Ballista into play. <laughs> That's one way to do it. And, uh, yeah, that'll do the trick. And Tom got lucky once, but we got the match. All right, time for round two. Playing against Salvato on Green Black. So he took Pest Infestation into Vampiric Tutor, which cannot, can't say I'm unhappy about that. I'm going to... Lead on Delighted Halfling with this hand, and then if I draw an untapped land, probably just turn to Oko. Otherwise, I can go Seder Wayfinder, play Ketria Trium, and then set up uh, Oko or Garrick or what have you. Imperial Seal, turn one. Okay, a little, a little scary. Let's see what he manages to string together here. And Island. All right, well, that means that makes things a little easier because now I just go. Delighted Halfling into Oko is my plan. Did he tutor for something? Obvious, no. Oh, time walk, interesting. Let's still just Oko. Oko time walk is pretty sick. Oh, I obviously should have cast Oko with uh, uncounterability. That was loose, though. Just playing black green doesn't really matter. Okay, Oko in, he plays Bowmasters. That's what he tutored for. That's not so bad. Can't really wheel with that in play, though. Oko might be able to kill it here. And if I draw untapped land again, then Garrick into Time Walk is just awesome. Okay. Bloodstained Mire into Glissa Sun Slayer. Uh, not so much a standstill operation here. So let's just go Satir Wayfinder. I hope to get an untapped land. Okay, Odawara. Sure. 
play Odawara, cast Time Walk. This is minus five to exchange. Yeah, so it's plus two, make a food. And really want to find, oh, that's exactly what I wanted. So now I'm going to go exchange my food for your Bowmasters. Then I'm going to cast Wheel of Fortune. I guess I should just cast Garrick first, probably. Untap these two lands, and then wheel. <laughs> uh, ping, 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 and then three to Salvato's dome here. And wipe his board. I end up with a 6-6 six, six, and a 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't think there's a reason to play Mana Crypt here, but I will go ahead and attack with Satir Wayfinder and hope that that's good enough. <laughs> was that a good enough turn? That was probably a good enough turn, I would say. All right. Salvato now has three lands, and he's facing down just like a massive board presence with next turn me also just looking to unload here with... Ovenwald Oddity plus Undermountain Adventure, something along those lines, is just going to be great. All right, Lotus Cobra. Sure, you need something really crazy to get out of this, I, I suspect. Like, we're talking Channel Emrakul type heroics. Is this Bitter Triumph killing my Garrick Wildspeaker? I mean, I guess I would accept that. Maybe if he, like, reanimated something afterwards. All right, Bitter Triumph killing Garrick Wildspeaker. Discarding Generous Ent and then playing Elvish Mystic. All right, well, I suspect we're going to be okay here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight mana, so I could cast Oddity and Undermount Adventure, but I think, I think I'm just going to start with Ovenwald Oddity. Attack for 12. He's got a chump the 7-7, seven, seven, and then I'm going to go Ren and 6 on the Lotus Cobra. I just don't really see a reason to... Oh, okay. That also works. To leave him with any mana dorks in play. There's no reason to play like the initiative card. And then ping. And we are up a game here. Okay. So, I really do have to worry about Bowmasters, because I have all these draw 7s. I don't have a great sideboard against that. I mean, I have Ren and Six and Ballista and Oko, I guess, are, are my answers to that. It doesn't make me want Vendillion Click very much. So Endurance? I don't think he showed that many graveyard things. Let me just make sure that that's the case. He had like Urza Saga. Maelstrom Pro with Regrowth, I guess. It just looks like he's a mid-range deck. And birds and ignoble will get sniped by the bowmasters. I think on the, I like standstill on this deck, but I think on the draw I will side it out. I guess I could put in endurance, just as like a thing, or or maybe just hide in plain sight as like a way to have overrival master too, and just have slightly more defensive things. I think the wasteland looks okay. He's got some non basics here, Zagoth Triumph and whatnot. All right. We don't have a lot of them, so maybe that was bad. On the draw here. Um, yeah, all right. I'll keep this. This is turn one Ketria Trium, turn two Sprawl It, which is kind of a slow start. But turn three Oddity is okay. Wheel, again, is a little bit dicey against the Bowmaster deck. I don't know. that. I'm, am I supposed to take the wheels out? They're pretty good in my deck. This deck just dumps its hand so often. Okay. Wow, well, that was a good draw. A forest here would be really strong. Because if I, if I, oh, never mind, I got a forest. <laughs> Thank you, Yavamaya. So let's go island. Um, Topia Sprawl, the Ketria Trium, I guess. Add blue. And time walk into island. Uh, I could oddity here. I could also play my two mana dorks so I could get back time walk next turn with Tamio. That, that seems kind of nice. 
and then pass the turn. And then I'll have six mana. So guaranteed I can go Tamiya minus Time Walk. Oh, wow. He's gets a lot of mana off this turn with uh, Bloodstained Mire if he wants it. Looks like he's not going to use all the mana yet. And Ramanop. Mm, i got to remember he can cast Orcish Bowmasters based on his mana situation here. But I still think I'm going to go Tamiyo Time Walk. Tamiyo. Time Walk. And I'm going to tap the Paradise Druid because I kind of want to see if he's got the Bowmasters. I feel like he does. Oh. Okay, yeah. What's he doing here? He paid a life. Tap that as you have Dismember. Oh, Bitter Triumph on Tamiyo. Sure, that's fine. And then now, oh, I have... Now he's got two cards in hand. I could Garrick... I guess tap this for green, tap this for green. Do I want a wheel or do I want an Ovenwald Oddity? I kind of think I just want an Ovenwald Oddity here. If he had a Bowmasters, I think he would have played it there. So I think playing Oddity... I'll, I'll offer the trade for both of his creatures here. Okay. And then next turn, I just have Lethal with Garrick. So he's got he's got some things he needs to answer here. He gets to replay his Mire. He gets to make a bunch of mana. Another reason to not to wheel is I'm passing into him with a lot of mana. And here he's got two things that are going to be pretty difficult for him to deal with. It's Ovenwald, Oddity, and Garrick. He's got to have some solutions to them. Garrick because it can ultimate and Oddity because it can flip. So we'll see what his uh, what his big finish is. And I have Wheel as a backup plan. Oh, Gruff Triplets. Okay. Interesting. He's at 11. He's going to attack Garrick with both. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give up on the... I'll, I'll trade for the Cobra because it's adding a lot of mana for him. I'll give up on the thing. Oh, there's Time Twister. That's actually even better. So let's just go Time Twister here. And hope to redraw Time Walk. And there wasn't a redraw of Time Walk, but I do have some options. I could wheel. I have, how much mana do I have here? I haven't played a land yet. I have not played a land yet. One, two, three, four, five. Land is six. Garrick makes it nine mana. So I could play a Ballista for two and then attack with Ovenwald Oddity. And if he blocks with the Gruff Triplets, then I bounce one, trade, and shoot the other one. He can triple block. I bounce a token. I trade for one and kill the other one in response. And that leaves me tapped out, Garrick on three. And him, him getting his turn, but I've dealt with Gruff Triplets, which seems pretty nice. Yeah, I think that seems fine. The other option is just to cast Wheel and maybe use it a war, maybe not. But if I don't draw a time walk on this wheel, I feel like that's gonna be tough. So let's just let's just play Ballista for two. And then attack. And if he wants to take it going into seven, he can also just take it. And then I can threaten to kill him with this like walking ballista. I still have Odawara up. It, that all sounds fine to me too. His Ramanop doesn't really do anything right now. He does have a whole fresh seven cards, but I kind of feel like uh, him getting one turn with five mana at the start or four mana at the start of the turn with no land drop. It's probably not going to do anything like too absurdly ridiculous, but we, we will see. All right. He's blocking. I mean, also, if Salvato blocks with two of them, then this is just a massacre. If you're going to block with two, you kind of got to block with three. But, okay. So that's fine. So let's go Odawara, the, the token. Um, 
assign trample damage, and then go ping, ping. All right. And now I've got a Paradise Druid that could block, but I don't even really need to block. Garrick can get hit down to one, as far as I care. And then next turn, I'll get to wheel with a ton of mana, and I, I dealt with his play. I mean, I had to spend a lot of mana. I spent three cards to deal with Gruff Triplets, but it's a threatening card. Hopefully he doesn't play a card quite as good this turn. And then Salvador gets one turn to play with his new hand, and then I'm going to give him another one. All right, yeah, you can attack, attack the Garrick. I think that's fine. Garrick's down to one. And also next turn I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen mana, assuming Garrick lives. Well, assuming all my stuff lives, I'll have thirteen mana. Wheel with ten floating on an even board sounds pretty good. Okay, so Witherbloom is going to kill my... Oh, he has Inquisition, that's good to know. The one thing I'm worried about is him having Bowmasters, but the good news is if he had Bowmasters, he'd play it to kill the Garrick, I suspect. It'd be kind of weird to not do that. So I think I can discount Bowmasters if he doesn't play it here. Bowmasters is really annoying. I mean, that's all there is to it. Like this, It's just good against me. So as long as I can fade that, then I'll feel pretty good. It's possible he levels me by not Bowmastering the Garrick to play around me going Ren and Six into draw seven, but honestly, that seems really unlikely. Oh, Glissa, sure. All right, heads. Ooh, let's take this turn. I don't want to play Seder Wayfinder, I don't think. I will play my Forest. Eh, yeah, that's fine. I, I do have Wasteland to play, but I think I'd rather just start by casting Wheel. Oh, okay, there we go. This should be enough to, to win pretty easily, I, I suspect. Green, green, one, Nyssa, untap. Oh, oh they're all forests, actually, because of Yavimaya. Tap this, time walk. And I haven't used Nyssa yet. Let's go hide in plain sight. Yee. Well, I got a bunch of lands off the top, at least. And then Nyssa, a forest, and cast Once Upon a Time. And I'll put Undermountain Adventure into my hand. And then I'll take my turn. Draw Oko, huh? I even have the Wasteland here, so let's go Undermountain Adventure. I have a Tamiyo left in my deck somewhere, but what else do I have? Tamiyo, Copter, in, oh, Endurance to reshuffle my deck. That's really funny. I'm going to get this island here. Ren and Six is going to want to get back uh, Odawara for sure. Tap for red. Ren and Six back Odawara. <laughs> uh, this is just this is just brutality is what this is. I mean, honestly, this is... We're, we're real Harlem Globetrotter territory. It's, a, it's an analogy I often use, but that's because... I mean, that's what's happening, honestly. Make a food token. Untap a mountain, sure. Untap these two lands. All right, I've used all my planeswalkers. All right, I guess I'll attack for 10. Oh, I could have even attacked. <laughs> I just had lethal also. I was just, I was just doing my things. Really running up the score here. Uh, I could have attacked with Paradise Druid, and that also would have been lethal. But you know what? That's, that's fine. I, I think we got it. There we go. All right. Time for round three against Fjordmine here. See if I can get to the 3-0, and this is the way to do it. This Mox Diamond is going a long distance. Let's go Mox Diamond. I am playing against Force of Will, so I do have to keep that in mind. But turn on Ren and Six, get back Forest go and let's just draw a mana crypt on turn two or time walk and then i effectively have a turn two undermount adventure but either way this is a pretty strong opening hand let's see what we're, so we're playing against jeskai with like fourth year lingus force of will spell queller arcane denial um no more lies fracture identity sound really good deck so just have to get a fast start, and of course this is a pretty good one. Obviously I would trade a land or two for another spell, but this is what we got, and certainly not going to come close to mulling this hand. All right, turn on Wooded Foothills Go. All right, 
action. Uh, that's not action. That's in fact the worst. All right. Well, if this uh, Underman Adventure gets countered, I could be in a little bit of trouble. Though the one good thing is Red and Six is actually a threat in and of itself. Part of the reason I like this card so much more than Crucible or Ramanop. If this gets up to seven, I'll just ult it, and then if I ever draw any spell, Time Walk, of course, being the the, the big one, I'll be able to just get it back as many times as I have lands. So. Basically what this means is Anton here's got to find a way to deal with Ren and Six over the next turn or two. Or I guess he gets three turns to deal with it, but it goes up pretty fast here. Island, go. All right, definitely siding in Vendillion Click. Oh, man, that would have been so good a turn ago. Um, yeah, I'm just going to play the Underman Adventure. I don't really... Don't really think I can do otherwise. Reprieve, sure. That's better than getting no more lies. Though spell queller is something I'm a little more scared of. Portable hole. Oh man, there goes the Ren Insects. Alright. Fair enough. Let's take our turn here. Wheel of Fortune. Alright, let's play Underground Adventure here. Kind of assume I'm getting countered. Yeah. Arcane Denial is at least something that gives me some draws so this this looks okay uh, i get to draw my two and then next turn eh, that wasn't too hot but i can hopefully go oko wheel is a fine place or if i draw a good spell maybe do that oh chrome host seed shark well i've got oko yeah let's go Oko Thief of Crowns. Okay, doesn't have Force of Will. And I think I just Wheel of Fortune here instead of playing two Mana Dorks. And then after the Wheel, I'll decide what to do with Oko. But I don't really need to do anything right now. I mean, let's be real. I'm just going to Elk the Chrome Host Seed Shark. And then I've already played my land, so pass. Then <laughs> next turn... Next turn, I, I, I basically just win the game, depending on what, what he does, of course. So I got Brazen Borrower, Wandering Emperor, Trinket Mage, and two lands. Okay. Force of Will is something I am concerned about. In an ideal world, he taps out for something here. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Okay, so I think I'm going to start, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Yeah, let's play the life. I'm going to start by casting Time Walk because I really don't want that to get hit by No More Lies. And if he, so Time Walk has resolved. Okay, well, in that case, I'll follow it up with probably Paradise Druid and Birds. And then plus Oko. And I'll wait on the. Tamio here be again because of no more lies. Land Tamio. See if this resolves. Does he have spell queller? Because otherwise, I'm going to cast a time walk here. Mm. And the good thing is, I can time walk through a lot of things. So, like, if I get spell quellered, I have Odawara to bounce the spell queller. Cryptic command. Counter draw. Okay. He has seven cards. Um, let's just cast Time Twister then and see if we can find more Time Walks. <laughs> All right. No more Time Walks, but I did find a Rabble Master. So I think I'll do that. And Oko, my food token. Yield through the turn. And you're at 19. I'm at 18. I don't care if Oko goes to two here. I'm just going to send. I feel like I'm on the offensive. And yeah, the time twister and wheels have been really good in this deck. Just You just have bit, the combination of time walk and planeswalkers mean like, especially I have Garrick and Nissa who provide mana. I get to leverage so much more these extra turns. And now we look at the start of the turn. Anton's got five land, play a land, number six lands. I have over here 10 mana, haven't even played a land yet. And then like a 3-3, a Rabble Master, a Token, an Oko, like I'm just doing so much more with every single turn. Again, Force of Will is still a scary card, 
and he's got a lot of counter spells, so it's not quite as easy as when I was playing against, uh, you know, the other decks that weren't that interactive. But playing as black green, you know, what, what is Salvato going to do? He just, cast, I mean, Bowmasters was Salvato's best card, but past that, he didn't have a whole lot he could do to interact. And Martel was just trying to burn me out or you know aggro me out. But I can still play around the counters if I don't if I'm not under sufficient pressure. And I'm, I, what I haven't really done here is give Anton the time to put me under pressure. So. Yeah, a tap land is certainly not going to help too much with that. Basically, every turn I get to make three plays. He gets to make like one. Force of Will can maybe make it into two. Yeah, he's not even going to be able to attack with the Seed Shark under his circumstances, to be honest. And on my turn... Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Oka goes to two. Guess you gotta, you gotta, you got to try your best. What am I going to start with? I mean, Nyssa adds a lot of mana. I kind of like starting with Nyssa because it is the strongest if it resolves and can't get spell colored. Okay. Nyssa Forest. Let's make Goblin into a 3 3. Let's just go to attacks here. Am I going to get cryptic? No, it would not appear so. All right. Attack with all these. Mm, a Wandering Emperor. Sure. Make a 2 2 block the Rabble Master, maybe. Or exile the Rabble Master. Sure. Uh, and this is still 10 damage. And then I can play Undermountain Adventure. So I can keep the initiative. And Sika's Chariot. And I'm not going to play the Seder Wayfinder at this point, because milling Tamiya or Time Walk would just be too bad, I think. All right, pass the turn. And it's not like a Wrath does anything anyway. You Wrath, I still have two Planeswalkers and a Sika's Chariot and the initiative, so yeah. All right, definitely want Vendillion Click. Don't think I can play Drown of, Drown of the Lock, though. It is cute. I kind of want Shieldbreaker, because I know he's got Currency Converter in his deck. That's at least something. I do like Rabble Master. Maybe I want to trim a Ford. Ballista is also a little annoying. Standstill is interesting. I actually think I could sneak in a Standstill here. Wasteland also seems good. Sort of Smuggler's Copter. Maybe I take out Seder Wayfinder. Just because it's one of my weaker cards. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I do take out the Standstill. Uh, this just does seem kind of like the matchup because he's not going to have that much. I'll... No, I'll try like this. All right, time for game two, and <laughs> yeah, I will keep this hand. Uh, I mean, I told my team after drafts like I'm gonna three out, uh, you know, extremely easily. And to be honest, like this deck is just near the top of the curve. Like this is this is about a ten. Like I don't know, it's got great mana. It's got time walk and mana crypt, two of the like top five cards in the cube. And the deck's highly synergistic. Like, what am I missing? I guess adding a dismember to the deck or a lightning bolt would go a long way, but still. Okay, so let's go forest. Do, do I want to go delighted halfling? Hmm. All right. Oh, also, it's a snow day here in Colorado, so the kids are home. So excuse any any nonsense. Uh, I actually think it's Utopia Sprawl here just because... Oh, well... That actually worked out really nicely because now I can go Mana Crypt, Copter, and not get Spell Pierced. <laughs> um, I was going to say a Sprawl because I don't have blue mana otherwise. And then now I'm going to go Delighted Halfling if I don't draw a land. Obviously I have more outs to draw lands. Oh, um, let's just cast the Oddity. It's more expensive. It's probably getting countered. Okay, Oof. I was really hoping it'd be Arcane Denial because... Then I get to draw some cards. My hand is just absolutely broken. So if I can find blue and or red mana, then this hand goes pretty nuts. Hmm, that was actually not terrible either. Let's see what this is. Fourthy or Lingus for one. Ooh, we're going for it? All right, I've got a copter out. So this is quite the gamble. Oh, if I find a blue and I can take the monarch and then take a time walk turn. Um... 
That'll that'll do next turn, I think. Let's go Undermount Adventure. Okay, didn't get Force of Will. That's nice. Island. I'm gonna wasteland the inspiring vantage. And then Do I want the monarchy? Yeah, I do. I, I, I know I'm giving up the initiative here, but I think that that's fine. Let's draw, discard, probably discard a ballista. Or maybe discard delighted halfling? Which one's better? Next turn, I'll have enough mana I mean, to do a lot of things. I'll discard delighted halfling, I guess. All right, and then monarchy, and then draw. I would have discarded Ravel Master if I had the opportunity. And now, like, yeah, you could t attack and take take both Monarchy and Initiative back here. But <laughs> if he doesn't have a Counterspell for Time Walk, it's going to be, like, impossible for him to win. And if he does have a Counterspell for Time Walk, well, I'm going to bait it out, try to bait it out here with uh, Ballista first. I have enough mana to, to, to play a, b a pretty good Ballista. Mm -hmm. Does get to get an island. And the other option. Actually, maybe that play was just bad. Never mind. I've kind of come around to my play being really terrible there. I should have got played Wasteland, got an island, and then played Halfling, used Halfling to crew copter. And then I'd have an untapped Undermount Adventure so he couldn't uh, take the monarchy or the initiative. So, yeah. All right. Mountain doesn't help too much. Let's go walking ballista. X equals one here. Um, my magic online is lagging. But let's see. All right, we are back here. Um, I think I play ballista. Let's see. Do I play it for one? Because if I play Ballista for one, I can post combat, cast, time walk, or Oko. Crew with Ballista. Attack with these two. Uh, I'll loot, sure. Ooh, Tamio's nice. Alright, I'll discard Rabble Master. I don't really need that. Take six. And then. Let's take the initiative. I'm gonna put go to forge and put two counters on the walking ballista. Oh, frog owes me a warhammer card. <laughs> We've been passing those here and there. All right, uh, forge. Two counters on ballista. Become the monarch. Land. Let's just cast time walk. If it if it works, then I win. If it doesn't, I I also win. Because <laughs> at this point, ballista can shoot down. The knight, yeah, that, that is just game. And this deck was just disgusting. Like, this deck was about as good as it possibly gets. Um, I had to restart Magic Online when I was lagging, but I want to take a look at this beauty. I mean, when I say Time Walk is the best card in the cube, it's because of decks like this. It's because uh, you get to... I think it's... Is this a different Team or Walk deck? I don't remember which Team or Walk deck... Uh, <laughs> I, uh, oh, here it is, Teamer Beats Walk. But you get to look at a different Teamer Walk deck that had Mana Crypt and Nissa. Um, when you when this deck's able to abuse Time Walk, let's see how many ways. First of all, Tamiya is the best way because it just straight up lets you do it again and maybe even again. With the initiative, it's gross. With Chariot, you're getting a 2 2 and beating them down every turn. All three Planeswalkers are sick. Well, four counting Tamiya are sick, five counting Ren and six with Time Walk in play. Copters even turn over turn action. Rabble Master. All of that, plus, of course, I just opened Mana Crypt. Like, this deck was just incredibly busted. I'm a little disappointed I never got to Standstill new one. Jury's still out on that one. But that's a 3-0. Looking like the team's going to win, and uh, I could not be happier with that, the way this deck turned out. Well, that'll do it for today. That was a beating. Clocking in just under an hour, too. My opponents didn't stand a chance. Uh, that's it for today. I appreciate you hanging out as I take all the turns possible with Time Walk. And uh, you know what? I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully with some more Time Walks. Who's to know? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel and you won't miss a single draft.